Welcome back once again everyone, I'm Capelius Games, this is EVE Online, I'm in a Varger, so it's time for a level 4 mission. And the mission we're running today is... The Blockade. Now, this might actually be a bit of a challenge. As we can tell from the rewards, we are being paid 1.13 million isk for completing this mission, with another 1.27 if we complete it within 6 hours. Loyalty points wise, we are getting 6,519. So, over 6,000 loyalty points in a 6 hour time limit tells you that this is one of the harder level 4 missions. This particular version of this mission is against Serpentus, which will be firing Kinetic and Thermal and our weakest to Kinetic. Now, this mission has a lot of different spawns and a lot of E War, especially in the first reinforcement spawn wave, there is a lot of elite cruisers that do a lot of heavy E-War, so this one can be a bit painful. I'm sure we'll be fine, we are a marauder. So let's click accept, and blow some stuff up. Right, we are en route to the mission. It was in the same system as the agent, so there's no travel time at all. There are no acceleration gates, and this is just a single open pocket. With an awful lot of reinforcements. Here are the initial force clustered around this smuggler's stargate. First thing you want to do is get rid of the stasis tower so you can actually move. Not that marauders move all that often, but it's very squishy so we'll just destroy it. Now in this mission, quite often the most expensive ship in each wave is the trigger for the next wave. So that means that the Court Admiral, because it's the most expensive, the 881,000 and all the rest are 487, we're going to leave the Court Admiral to last and kill that one last. It's not always the ship with the highest bounty, but it usually is. So it's always best to leave the highest bounty ship for last in each wave, otherwise you may find yourself overwhelmed. Because the spawns are not small, there are an awful lot of ships that appear. I'm going to turn on my sensor overlay so I can see what I'm doing. Not sensor overlay, tactical overlay. I know all the words. Right, three more battleships to go before we get the big spawn wave. And the first spawn wave is absolutely horrible. Just over here will be a big lot of cruisers and battle cruisers. And down below is the main problem. There's going to be six or seven elite cruisers with really high resistances and they're all going to be doing E-War on us and there's going to be a group at the back here which is battleships and frigates. But it's all the elite cruisers in the field that are going to be a bit of a problem. There are various different versions of the blockade. Because I'm in Galinti space we're fighting Serpentus and their E-War is sensor dampening. So they're going to cut my maximum targeting range down a lot. Because each and every one of the elite cruisers is going to be adding damps and all the elite frigates and some of the battleships as well. So my targeting range is going to be just about here at the end of my ship, which is a bit of an issue. But I will just change my sensor booster to have the targeting range script to make sure we're actually able to target things in range. And even if things are in range, it's going to take me a very long time to target them. Yeah, these Guardian Chief Sentinels are the things you need to kill first. Usually I would kill the battle cruisers first to remove DPS from the field, but I really... Well, there we are, we've lost target lock. Because we're being sensor damped by four ships. Even though I have extended my target range, we're still not able to target them. And our targeting range is only 29 kilometers. And we can wait until these sensor damp cycles end and try and get them. But I think I'm just going to turn Bastion off and approach this lot. As we see, as things get closer, more and more sensor damps are being applied and instead of going up, our sensor locking range is actually going down. So as soon as Bastion ends, I'm just going to charge at these guys with the micro warp drive on and try and kill them. That will remove at least three sensor damps from the field. In my view, the Serpentus version of the blockade is the worst because sensor damps are really annoying. The Garistas version, they will do ECM, 
which means you can only target the ship which is ECMing you, which isn't that big a problem. And the Angel Cartel one, their Evor is target painter, so all they do is make your ship easier to hit for them, which is not a huge issue. Okay, we're close enough to these guys now, let's just stop, pop Bastion, just turn my shield booster off for a while. See, even though we're within range to target them, it is taking an awful long time to target them. Because not only do sensor damps cut your targeting range, they increase the time it takes to target lock things. So it's really, really annoying. But as soon as you start clearing the cruisers off the field, the amount of sensor damps drops and things suddenly open up, which is lovely. Get rid of these battle cruisers, and then we'll destroy these destroyers over here. I'm going to turn Bastion off and kind of get closer to the gate, because the gate is like the centre of everything. Okay, there we go. There are still five elite cruisers on the field. And as soon as these battleships get close, they're going to start applying damps as well, which is really annoying. Sensor damps are the devil's work. They are absolutely evil. Okay, I think we're probably close enough now. We'll just stop. Pop Bastion. Just get rid of these cruisers. Yep, it's taking forever to target lock these guys. Hooray, we managed to achieve a lock, that's great. This is like the only thing that's going to slow you down. Once we actually are able to apply damage to them, even though they've got really high resistances, as we see, huge, way up over 70 on all four resistances, um, they're facing a Marauder that's spitting out 2,500 DPS, so they're just melting as soon as we're able to get a lock on them. Now this was the most E-War heavy of the spawns. Remember there was three down here, five down here, that's eight plus probably the battleships will start chiming in as well. So if you can get past this first wave, you should be good. Now I believe that this core Vice Admiral is the most expensive, so he will probably be the trigger for the next spawn, so let's not kill him. Now you'll die. Go away, you little swine. Okay, let's identify who's the most expensive. It's the Court Admiral, which is this guy here. So I think I'll destroy 
the core port admirals, which are back here instead. They are kind of on the edge of our falloff, so I'm just going to change to the long range script. And there we are. Don't think we need the shield booster to be on all the time. A module has run out of charges. And away he goes. Alright, I think we've done it correctly. So next will be the rear admiral and then the admiral. They are a little bit too far away and they don't seem to be coming any closer. So these guys must definitely be railguns. Let's zoom in and have a look. Yep, I think that's railgun models on him. So they're not actually approaching us, they're just kind of hanging out at their perfect range. If I could be bothered, I would... Um, yeah, I might. I'm just going to see Spastian for a little while and just fly to the other end of the Stargate just to close the range on these two guys because they're annoyingly far away. Mind you, having said that, we've damn near killed the first one. Ah uh, yeah, I'll just give it one pulse of micro warp drive because I don't think there's any more spawns up at this end of the map. I think they're all over here and back here. So I will just go this way a little bit. That's probably enough. Put Bastian back on and start hurting him properly now. There we are. There is an awful lot of loot and salvage on this field. It's a really good mission for loot and salvage. Having said that, there's a lot of empty wrecks here. It's quite a large mission for bounty as well. Okay, more bad guys. Okay, some have spawned down below. That's a little bit annoying. Let's try and get rid of these frigates before they censor nap us. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Not quite. Okay, we'll just refit to long range targeting script. 48, 50. I just need to get rid of one of them. Oh, come on. Okay, targeting range 48. And that'll take about three weeks to establish the lock. Good, that's one of them gone. Ah, uh, we lost lock just as we fired. Oh, they're closing range on me anyway, so as soon as they get in range, we'll just pop them. Frigate first, because it's going to be the easiest to kill. Sensor damps are annoying because unlike ECM jamming, they are not chance based. They simply work. There's very little you can do to counter them, other than having a sensor booster with extended range scripts, like I have. Good, that's both the frigates dead. Let's get rid of these elite cruisers that are also damping us. Now I have a sneaking suspicion that this admiral is the trigger for the next spawn. So I'm going to kill the two admirals down here. And then one of the core high admirals and then this admiral back here because i think that this is one of the occasions where the highest value npc is not the trigger the highest values being the core admirals who are 993,750 each call it a million very close to being a million each yeah lots of targets lots of bounty lots of ebor lots of loot and salvage a rather profitable mission, even though it takes some time. Because your runtime is cut down by all the e war that's been done to you, and the fact that everything has huge resistances. Yeah, I'll just turn this shield booster off just for a little while. I mean, this is the kind of mission I would have been tempted to fit a long range sniper because then everything would definitely be within optimal range. But we seem to be killing things just fine. And these guys are on direct approach, so they're going to be taking absolutely huge damage, and they're getting closer as well, which means it's also going to increase the damage being applied to them.
Right, let's see if I was correct. If I was correct, nothing will spawn when we kill this High Admiral. And it will only spawn when we kill the cheaper Core Admiral. I say cheaper, he's still 800,000 isk. Let's see, was I correct? Should turn my shield booster on in anticipation of the next spawn. I was correct. All right, I remembered something. Well done, me. Because that could have been bad. If I killed this guy before I killed these five, I would have these five plus whatever else spawns in when we kill him. So we've had one, two, three lots of reinforcement. This will be number four. I think there's five waves in total. It's quite a lot. And I really want to change back to my scan resolution targeting speed script. He's dead. Okay, lots more frigates. So let's just target them, target them. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Kill them before they notice we're here. Good. Good. Come on. Excellent. And everything else is so close, I'm going to go over to tracking speed script. Now we have a High Admiral, Lord Admiral, and two Admirals. So let's get rid of the Admirals first, shall we? The High Admiral is 993,000 isk, and the Lord Admiral is 1.2 million. Lots of bounty on offer here. All these beautiful high-value battleships. You love to see it. I believe the blockade has level 1, level 2, level 3 and level 4 versions and they're all pretty much the same. The only thing that changes is the size of the things that spawn in so it's always a good error at any level and it can be quite brutal if you accidentally kill the trigger and get overwhelmed by all the reinforcement waves appearing at the same time. So after this admiral's dead we'll go for the high admiral and then the lord. Alright, let's see if anything spawns in after this guy. I think this might be the final NPC, uh, I could be wrong. I always thought there was five reinforcement waves, we've had four. And I can't remember if I was counting the initial defenders as wave one. I was. Alright, mission complete, not bad. Lots and lots of loot. Did I drop a bit more? Yes I did, well done me. Orb drive active. Okay, let's complete the mission. And that was 22 minutes from the moment we clicked accept to the moment we clicked hand in mission. That's not bad. I mean, it's not great. 22 minutes. But considering there were four reinforcement waves and lots of high value battleships and elite cruisers with really high resistances, and we spent most of the time being censored out and couldn't target anything. I think 22 minutes is respectable. And let's find out if the loot and salvage was respectable. There's a nice, lovely little segue for you there. Right, I'm going to go out in the Noctis and I shall report back in once that has been done. All right, Mr. Noctis has been out and done his thing and he's returned with a home full of goodies and both bounty prizes have come in. That mission took so long that we got two bounty prizes. As always, we'll start with the agent mission reward, which is a 1.13 million and another 1.27 because we achieved the time bonus because of course we did. The bounty prize is 15.2 here and another 4 million here. We know this is the final one because there is the Lord Admiral who was the one and only Lord Admiral in the mission so we know that he was the last thing to die. So that's all the bounty prizes in. So add these together we get what 19 million something bounty prizes? Not bad. And loot and salvage 11.2 million in total of which 3.75 is worth selling. No tags this time. Salvage wise, 5.9 mil. Not bad. So altogether, that is 
just over 32 million isk in total for that mission. It only took 22 minutes, that's quite a nice haul. Anyway, come back and see what we get up to in the next level 4 mission. And until then, do look after yourself, and I will talk to you again very soon.